Hello everyone, my name is Erin and I'm going to be filming a GCU apartment tour. So to get started, I live in Papago. Last year I lived in a dorm and now I finally live in an apartment and it's like the best apartment on campus. So I'm very happy and I have lived here for a semester now and I meant to film this video last semester but I didn't. So now I'm back filming it when it's dark outside. However, I did get some clips during the day, so I'll make sure to have that over the video while I'm talking. But yes, let's just get started with the tour. So this is the door, and then when you walk in, you see the kitchen. It's cute, you don't get a dishwasher, so that kind of sucks, but that is every GCU apartment. You will never get a dishwasher, unfortunately. Not never but probably not. This is what my kitchen looks like. So all of our cabinets are organized and all of that. We have like forks over there, utensils, yada, yada, yada. The fridge, all of this comes with every GCU apartment. So you don't need to worry about that. Everything else does not. So I have this table, my bananas, and then this is my living room. It's something that I want to add while I'm sitting in the living room is that Papago Little Pop, there's two Papagos. There's one that has the pool in the fitness center and it's literally just Papago cut in half. And then there's Big Papago. And Papago is the only GCU apartment that has this layout, except for North Rim. North Rim is like a different story. They have like carpet and bathtubs. They're the oldest building on campus. GC was built around North Rim. Every other apartment will have a long hallway. You can easily find GC apartment tours online. I have rarely ever seen a good Papago apartment tour. So hopefully this one can be a good one for you. Something different is that the kitchen is separate from the living room and every other apartment, the kitchen and living room is connected. It is one big room and I hate that. I do not like it. I love Papago because not only do you get a big window, you also have two separate sides, which I love. I think it is so much better. This is the massive window that I was talking about. In other apartments, you literally have like just that, that half right there. I don't like it. Here we have the couch. The couch my roommates got on Facebook Marketplace. It was only like $200 and they split it, which is nice. I'm moving out soon, so after this year, so I literally didn't have to pay for that. The way that Papago works is there's two sides. So this is the kitchen where we walk through and then there's the left side and the right side. My roommate lives in that room and then she has her own bathroom, but I don't know if she wants me to show you that, so I'm just going to avoid that. And then you go to this side, which is my side. So this is my room, which I'll get more into depth, but then I have my bathroom. And then you also have two cabinets. So they have cabinets over there. And then I just have all that stuff, some feminine products, I have some toilet paper. And then this is my bathroom. You have sinks storage underneath medicine cabinets there's people outside being really loud and then the bathroom my roommate has a different bathroom than me by the way mine is bigger hers is a little bit smaller but it just looks like this you have a shower toilet and then i bought all of that and then you get a little towel thing towel in there towel thing here and now i will show you my room you walk in and this is what you see ta-da so I'm in room B and I just want to point that out because I have never seen someone show off room B or C they're the same layout ever in a Papago room tour, ever. I just knew for some reason that B and C had big windows and A and D, although they are much bigger rooms, I really wish I could show you them, but unfortunately the doors are locked. I only have one roommate by the way, but A and D are much bigger rooms. They are the same layout as the D rooms in normal apartments, which is the biggest room in a GCU apartment. You get like a really long hallway, um, but a smaller closet. I really want, I didn't really want a bigger room. I literally just care about the window and I love Not it. Not only do I get a really big window, which in the other rooms literally get half of it, but I also get a window sill and they, do not get that in their room. So I'm very happy about that. I literally have friends sit on my windowsill all the time. It's great. And then I just ate dinner. I probably should have cleaned up, but just like my last room tour, I didn't clean again. So there's my desk. The thing with Papago is that you do not get desk. You have to buy your own. Like it kind of sucks because I do my makeup and I need to do my makeup at a desk. So I had to buy one, but luckily my roommates, for example, they don't do their makeup at desk. They just like do it in the bathroom mirror. So they didn't have to buy a desk. So their rooms felt even bigger, which is cool. But instead of desk, Papago will give you shelves. Here's my closet. 
I have it color coordinated if you can't really tell how I'm a mess right now but this looks like this I have the bigger closet than rooms A and D and then that's just a mess my shoe rack photos back of my door my room's not cute I just want to make this because I've never seen a good pop go room tour no offense to anyone but I just wanted to be someone that actually shows what it looked like and I realized I didn't show room A or D um, but those are the only rooms I've been able to see on room tours. I've never seen a B room or a C room. So you're welcome for finally showing you what that looks like. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. But I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.